This video is brought to you by Specialty Equipment Market Association, also known as SEMA. Here are my four favorite innovative products from the show. As my channel grew and I moved on from small modifications such as light bars and LED light bulb, I became more hands-on and got involved with modifying every aspect of my truck. No more dropping the truck off for somebody else to install the lift kit. I just picked up my Duramax. Yeah, it looks great. Here it is. <laughs> just kidding. It's right here. I wish that was my truck. Because I am more involved in working on my truck now, I have a growing appreciation for tools that make my job easier. With that being said, here is the first product I want to share with you guys. Right, dude, so nice for working under the hood. Yeah, like when you're changing the water pump or stuff like that, it makes life easier. So you have it in a quarter inch, three eighths, and have it. I think we've all run into situations where there's just not enough leverage, the space is tight. This tool can definitely save you some time and headache. Right angle ratchet adapter that we didn't know we needed. I'm trying to fund manufacturing with a pre-sale campaign. Okay. So it'll retail for 60 bucks. Nice. And a pre-sale campaign you buy for about 15% off for 50. Email's right there. My phone number's right there. Okay. Or the QR code links to the Facebook page I have right now. I'll post all the updates about the pre-sale campaign, the progress of the tool and everything. And then do you sell tight reach as well? No, tight reach worked with me. Oh, worked with you, okay. To develop this, they brought me here. They've been hurrying with me the whole process. It's not, you know, it's nice to buy you know, tools from like good people as well. Okay, cool. Name called. As you guys can see, we like stanced out wheels, which sometimes requires stretching the tires. So here's a second product I want to share with you guys. Matt wants to stretch some tires. My buddy was over here yesterday and he did it. Absolutely. So I was like, all right, so today, I'm gonna we see intentionally it. put this eight and a half on a nine inch wheel. So we got, you know, okay. Yeah. Did you stack up your warehouse? You're going to get that. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, so this is a 10 liter. This is probably overkill for this. You okay. probably get away with the six liter. Okay. We're not. It's not about the size of the tank. It's about the velocity of the air. Because we're gonna pick the air up around the tire and shove it in. That's what I've been trying. That's what I've been trying to emphasize all the way. Next, you pull your board. It's All the Asian series? Yeah, it's not the size. It's the velocity. It's the velocity. <laughs> it's, the velocity. <laughs> it's the velocity. 12 wide on a 13 inch wheel, yeah. 14 inch wheel. It's work. You didn't feel it. Uh, you'll, 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 you'll see a huge difference what you're doing right now. It is about the, the velocity. That's a major velocity. <laughs> Not only does this help stretching tires, but it can also be helpful mounting large off-road tires on stock wheels. These are 38 by 15 50 inch tires on factory 9 inch wide wheels. We actually kind of struggle mounting these tires, so that bazooka would have come in handy. The reason they can be so much smaller is because we make much more efficient use of the pressure inside of the tank, right? So when you're throwing a ball valve or butterfly valve that's on a traditional tank like how it looks like that one there you're gonna lose a lot of pressure as your just human reaction time is throwing that lever yes. so with these because it's all taken out of your hand the pressure is so much is released so much more quickly that you get to enjoy a much smaller tank because you don't need as much air behind it in order to get the same amount of lift. yeah it should take about a week so is it quick release just automatic uh, mechanical switch or is it electronic quick release it's kind of interesting so it's basically there's two uh, cavities inside this tank here yeah. one part's the valve and one part's the actual <laughs> reservoir tank so inside of here once you pull the once you pressurize this tank, both cavities are pressurized at the same level. Uh, but when you pull this trigger, it's going to create a direct connection to the smaller cavity here, which creates a vacuum and pulls back the plunger right here. Uh, that then exposes the entire tank to the atmosphere and lets it blow. So it's actually the more pressure you put in it, the quicker it actually releases. What's the tank rated to? 
Uh, the safety valve goes off to 120 psi. And at the top of my head, I don't remember exactly what the safety rating for the tank is, but that's what it's meant to. Usually, they're like probably 150. They usually yeah, get something like that. Yeah, it's ASME certified. Like it's 50. That. The third product I want to share with you guys is actually from two separate companies, but they're both heat induction tools and I couldn't feature one without the other. It's metal fast burn easier than a torch. Okay. So let's say that you had to heat up something near a gas line. Well, you're not going to take a torch to it without risking your life, right? Right. So you'd want to just heat up you the area there, so you just use this. Okay. You just put it around your, your nut and you just, just plug it in, press the button, it heats up. And in a couple of seconds, you can see it's already smoking. Oh, wow. And I'm holding the opposite end. I would never get my finger this close to a torch. Just like that. And then what do you do? You just come and you just take your uh, wrench and pull it right off, right? That's right. And that's really all it does. Just heat first metal. Oh. And then this is for removing uh, body side molding and vinyl graphics. What you, you do is you just put this on there and plug it in. And you just press the button and you just put it over your graphic like this very lightly now it's not heating the plastic it's heating the metal which is heating the glue yeah so that i'll be able to lift the plastic and that you won't harm your paint this way so this is this can be used for right. debadging instead yes. of using a heat gun and yeah all right it replaces yeah. the heat gun and then this is cool i mean it's cool, cool. this will become hot here really we go. let me let me test this that with my new gloves cool. <laughs> and then what you do is you just lift it up. Just take your... Wow. Um, so this is cool. That will be cool, but yeah. the metal will be hot, yeah. I don't test know if I put the plastic on. <laughs> it does become very hot. Is it hot? It's warm. It's warm? Okay. Well, if I do it longer, it'll become hotter. Oh, yeah. But if you feel this... Yeah, I feel, cool. I feel the metal. You can see a difference, yeah. right, between that and that. That's, cool. yeah, that's crazy. That see, that's feel, cool. Feel, feel, feel yeah. the metal here. You feel the... Oh, yeah. See, because this is plastic, so it's not heating this. Mm -hmm. It's actually going right through there. Oh, cool. It's going right through here and heating the metal. Because it's magnetic, it's an induction heat. Okay. Magnetic heat. These is really good. Yeah, those it comes with a variety of coils. Sometimes you can get those... Um, oh, it's a cold kit. But yeah, it comes with, during the trade show special, it comes with a 10-piece coil kit. Wow. So you get a whole bunch of... Uh, different, different angles, different sizes. You even get the, the one that wraps around like this that's kind of stiff. And then there's another one that's very loose. Like can you, so you can wrap it yourself? You can wrap it, yes. Yeah. You wrap it and then you plug it in. So this is our Mini Dr. Venom HP. It's our latest model, the Mini Doctor, Mini Doctor line from Induction Innovations. Been around since 2003. So, runs at 1800 watts as compared to 1000 watts that a lot of our, our predecessors did. As you can see, we're able to take a bolt, like a lug nut, red hot within four to five seconds. Yeah. Oh, without any of the collateral damages of having to use a torch. So, how quickly does that cool, cool down? So, this is going to take about 30 seconds to a minute. It'll get oh, wow, cooled out. I mean, the outside's not super warm. Yeah. Inside the ring's probably a little bit warmer than it is on the outside. Hey, but still, like, it's not going to really burn anything immediately. Correct, exactly. That's so, awesome. we're heating with induction heat, so it's an eddy current. We're pushing the current oh, wow. of magnetic flow into the, the object, exciting the molecules at 60,000 times a second. Okay, that's awesome. And then what's that pad for? So this is for like removing door trims. Let's say those vinyl stickers. We all know how kids love slapping everything on their parents' cars these days. As you can also see, this coil's already cooled down enough. I can grab it without any issues. Very easy to change out coils with our twi patented twist lock. So take those vinyl stickers that kids put on their, mo their mom and dad's car all the time. They're actually a pain to get off. We're just going to heat the metal underneath. We're not actually heating the sticker. We want to get that adhesive debonded from the metal. Yeah, cool part about it, yeah, she started it earlier, but I can go all the way off, wow. heating it all the way through. That's not for debadging. Yep, getting debadged. Say door trim, you're having to work on that as well. Same principle, we're going back and forth. I don't want to burn the paint or the powder coating, so we're going back and forth. 
back and forth on the top of that. The reason why we're doing the bank again is we, we want to make sure the paint and the powder come. We're not bubbling it. We're not burning it. Now, this was sawn secured when we took it off. And you can see it comes right on up, double sided tape it all. Nice. Unit you know, like this guy normally runs about 650 at end user price. We're the only manufacturer that manufactured directly here in the United States for the actual yeah. unit itself. So that would save a lot of time for debadging because I've been there sitting with the heat gun. Exactly, it's meant to you know save a lot of time, especially with the heat gun. You got to think though too, you run a lot more risk of bubbling paint, oh, yeah, burning powder sure. coatings. Using induction heat, we're just heating just the, the ferrous metals underneath. And it's already cooled down, huh? Yep, that's already you know, at the point where it's a little warm at the tip still. But, wow, that's not bad at all. But as you can see, the one we used earlier got it red hot. Yeah. I can do this, no yeah. issues whatsoever. Yeah, you're right, you're right. He's not faking it. We've all been there, putting a torch on a bolt that's seized up. Up, baby. I had to put a torch on a couple of up pipe bolts on my LOI Duramax during turbo install because these bolts were seized up. And here's what happened. Oh shit. Oh my god. Cam. <laughs> That's what I'm telling you, man. Like it's hard to get oh, through shit. some of this stuff. Watch out. On top, on top, on top, what? on top, on top. Where? On top. On top. Right there. Right there. Oh shit. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> All right. You're off duty. <laughs> you do it. Yeah, I think I'll stick to using this product next time. Our next product is cheaper than a forklift and works a little bit better. This thing's folded up in a three by three floor space, okay? So it's wow. not taking up no space. Okay. If the dually bed was unbolted, ready to come off the Dude, truck, yeah. a we hundred pound male or female, you can walk up, unfold this, connect to the dually bed, off the truck, three and a half, four minutes. That's sick. With zero damage. If you've got clearance like this between the front of the bed and the cab, yeah. You can keep a nice tolerance up and down. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it changes the whole game. Tell Dude, this happened. would have been so helpful. Tell them what happened. So my wife, so I have a dually, and my wife wrapped it. We were going to a summer trucking national show down in Texas. Yep. My wife finished wrapping the whole truck and everything, and we had to put the bumper back on. And on the 2015 and 19 yep. Chevys, you got to lift the, yep. you got to lift the bed up exactly. a little bit. Just yep. a little bit. Yep. And we were trying to do it and you know we finally got it loose enough to where we could lift the bed up to slide the bumper in and it was only me and him so as we're like trying to lift the bed up and we're both trying to push the bumper in at the same time the bed shifted and messed up the wrap oh yep, no. yep on the cab on Next the, thing we know. It, ran, it, hit, it shifted and hit the cab scratched it and I'm, i looked up i'm like and i looked yeah. at the other side i'm like and my wife saws it, she freaks out. She's like, I'm not fixing it. I'm no, not touching it. <laughs> you were not a happy camper. But I, yeah, I wasn't happy and she wasn't happy either. You know, shit, now check this out. Okay, so if a okay, so you do not have to remove bumpers with the Live King. Really? Yes, sir. I'm gonna tell you why. Because it goes straight up and down. This thing connects exactly the way a tailgate connects oh, wow. back here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can put a tailgate on here, you can put the Live King on here. Nice. Now, if it was down at all any lower, be an issue. Got it. So it's it's set up so you don't have it just to. Just replaces the bed. You take you the bed off. You don't have to remove the, the tail, bumper. Tailgate. You don't have to mess around with backup cameras. Now, let's say you bought a brand new bed. It don't it don't in. have no tailgate hinge mount. Or let's say it was hit hard in the back and it's out of square. Right here. Yeah, got That's how you overcome that. Okay. Or if you want to cut a box side off, a old new box side on, this right here, up under here. Cut it off, well, because this would be slid in. Cut it off, well, new one on, done. You could have a dually bed on here. You could push it around the shop, a concrete floor, nothing. In fact, if your floor is slow, put the brakes on so it don't roll away from you. Right, right, right. That's how easy it is to move. Dude, this is crazy. What's, yeah. uh, what's the MSRP on one of these? Depends on the package. Okay. Um, I'll work you a nice deal if you move lift king. I'll work you a nice deal on shouting you out. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> Hang on one second. Check this out. We're running show specials here, but this package is considered the light duty package. Okay. It's $42.95 retail. We're giving $750 off for anybody here at SEMA. Yeah. So I don't think it'll fit my suitcase, but I like I like the price. 
hey, we'll just run your card and, you yeah. know, it, it'll show up at your house later. Yeah, it'll just show up at the house before I get there. Right, Christmas. right. right. Yeah. So it's at 4200 for the light duty package. 4295 and okay. that gives you everything necessary to remove or install any OEM pickup bed on the planet. What all does it come with? It comes Duty with the, too? It comes, the yes sir, all, all okay. beds. Okay, so it comes with your main lift itself. Okay. It comes with your box attachment, which would consider, it would be your secondary mount here, as well as your primary. And it comes with four aluminum bushings. And these bushings are to reduce, so the, the tailgate hinge pin on your OEM truck, they're built different sizes. Okay. And so if you have one that's a real small one, you can use this bushing to reduce the slop so that you got a nice snug fit and everything stays safe. Nice. Yep. You got a great safety feature here too. So let's say this cable was defective and it broke. What's going to happen is this boomerang looking item is going to, is going to pop up and it's going to catch the very next slot on its way down so that if there was a technician underneath the bed or you know you're not going to you're not going to hurt anybody and you're not going to have any damage to the bed if something were to break okay yes sir does this does the stand come with it or is that separate the stand is a is a separate item okay because of our floor space here we had to kind of tuck things a little bit okay. but it's a really awesome stand yep. cool. And what's the price on one of those? Do you that know? stand is eight ninety five, dollars um, but the key to that stand is, is you loosen the four star knobs, you take out the two center bars, and the whole stand collapses, breaks down, and goes on a wall mount. Okay. A lot of the shops out there talk about these bed dollies take up all this floor space. Not ours. Break them down in one minute, put them on a wall mount, walk away, you know, another minute to put them back together okay. when you need them. So you're doing like five grand and you got a whole setup. Yeah, I mean, we work yeah. out of a two-car garage right now, so yep. this would be very ideal for somebody like us, like Absolutely. DIY guys. Yes, sir. Even We've got all kinds of great attachments for this. Right. I've even got an attachment for this for panels. Yeah. Say you're going to pull a hood off of a Duramax uh, diesel yeah. and um, you're working alone. Oh, you, yeah. you can connect to the hood, a little upward pressure. One technician can take out the hood bolts. The hood don't slip down and hit the cowl or the windshield. You pull that big panel away all, all on your own. Okay. So. And that could be for the cab over there. That is for the cab. Yeah, that's for a semi hood. You got to check it out, man. All right. And, and it's just a different attachment. It's the same lift. Wow. So you can pull semi hood. Same off. lift. Same lift. It same is. Lift. Just, just different attachment. Just a different attachment. So yeah. you have an attachment. So if I bought this and I needed an attachment to like remove the cab. Absolutely. Awesome. You just call. And here's the thing. So we make one lift. And when we create new attachments, we create it off of our original, our original base. Yeah. That way, if we sold you a lift, right. and say two years from now, you're, you take on some new business, and there's an attachment you need that you didn't know you needed when you bought the lift. Right. We don't have to sell you another lift. Exactly. You know, you already own the main item. We just sell you an attachment so that you can continue to go to the next application. Right. That's yes, awesome. Sir. That means I can work on do cab off build in my garage without having to have a big lift. Exactly. Cool. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Thank you. Hey, make sure you check us out, yeah. man. Where can we find you? LiftKingProducts.com. Okay. We got some nice videos out there, show you how to use the product. Awesome. We got our, our online catalog, but yeah. Could you show us a quick demonstration if you don't mind? Sure, absolutely. So let's say I was going to, let's say I was going to remove a pickup bed. Okay. I'm going to bring this lift in nice and center. I'm not going to measure it out. I'm just going to get a good guess. I'm going to bring the lift in nice and center. I'm going to run this boom just ahead of the wheel wells, not all the way to the front. Your best balance is just ahead of the wheel wells, okay? I'm going to connect these to the tailgate hinge pin. I'm going to just make sure everything's secure. And I'm going to come over here, and this is a 1,500-pound brake winch, lifting even a dually bed at maybe 360 or 80 pounds with absolutely nothing to it. I mean, it's, it's that easy, you know? And I want to let it down. I mean, it's, there's nothing to it. We tried to put the lift underneath it. A typical truck lift or car lift, right? Yep. It lifted up that way. The, the players are so wide, that wouldn't work. So then we took the, the arms of the lift, put them on top yep. of the bed, and then put ratchet straps around it, and then lifted it that way. Oh, yeah. Then we maxed out the lift, and so we only got maybe... 24 inches of clearance and we gotcha. did it so we had to have to pull the truck forward and well yeah, it was a nice and that's the whole thing you know people rig up some kind of a chain ball system or a forklift or all kinds of different things 
And yeah, there's a lot of ways to remove a bed, but I honestly believe this to be by far the safest way. Yeah. And you can do it out in the parking lot. Uh, you don't have to be you know, tying up your space where your lift's at. You don't need, you know, there's no chains where you have to still have somebody make sure nothing's swaying while the other person's running up or down. Uh, it's, it's, it's a one person, quick, simple, easy, safe process. And that wraps it up for the video. I know those products have been around for a while, but some of those products I discovered for the first time this year at SEMA 2022. That's exactly what this show is about, making connections and discovering new tools, products, anything involved in the automotive industry. There were thousands and thousands of other brilliant innovative products at SEMA, but I picked those products because I felt like we would actually use them as we modify our vehicles. So with that being said, let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of those products. Also, have you ever used any of those products yourself? If you enjoy this content or you like any truck related content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. But as always, I'll see you guys next time.